Like a hermit living on the street, I just existed. I came to Wheeler Mission. Wheeler operates on a culture of kindness. Going through their programs reminded me that my meaning in life is to serve God. God set me free from anxiety and depression. Before Wheeler, I just existed, but today I live. Sprinkles if you got them. Jack's Donuts, find a location near you, now. How about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! <laughs> Here tonight at Park Tudor High School and the Jeffrey and Jennifer Kittle Gymnasium and what should be a good one to start off your weekend with the Park Tudor Panthers hosting the Wolves of Park Heritage. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, the Morales Group, Bertner Electric, Piper Logistics, and by Reynolds Farm Equipment. Alongside the coach, Keith Myers, I'm Jarrett Lewis, and it's, first of all, good to have you back, Coach. You took a pretty long extended break. You were enjoying the sunshine down there in the in the southern part of the country. How was that? Just don't touch my back, a little sunburn. <laughs> my eyes are getting used to Indiana weather. Uh, we left Tampa yesterday, it was 79 degrees. Came to Indianapolis and forgot that it's winter. It was uh, 32 degrees. Yep. And I left my winter coat here, so wearing shorts driving home from the airport was very interesting. But uh, thawed out pretty good. Looking forward to the first game that I've been at this gym for quite a long time. A beautiful facility, and we're going to get talk a little bit about that at halftime. But, man, what a gorgeous facility this! is. Yeah, we, walking in, and you see the new renovations they've done with the weight room and just everything that's right next to that football stadium. It's a real treat to be here on site. We've done plenty of games here, or for Park Tudor, I should say. But for me, this is my first time here actually doing a game, and it is a joy uh, to see this gymnasium, which we will see the Wolves and the Panthers do battle. Let's start off with the road team wearing the all-black uniforms. We saw Park Heritage in their season opener against Greenwood Christian Academy playing in Rockville. That was an unfortunate loss for them, but ever since then, they've rattled off a couple of wins, including a big-time win over North Vermilion before dropping their last contest to South Vermilion in the banks of Wabash Tourney. A very young team is this Park Heritage squad for Coach Rich Shelsky, and it's all led by his son Trey, who's a sensational freshman, averaging 23 points per game and also leading the team in rebounds. Yeah, we talked to Coach before the game and talked a little bit about that South Pavilion team and that South Pavilion game, and he said they just couldn't get the offense running. They, 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 they did so many things well, but then all of a sudden threw the ball away three or four times. They hit some big buckets. Uh, this is a very young ball club. As you said, uh, it's led by a freshman and boy, what kind of responsibility that is for uh, a kid who was playing junior high basketball last year now trying to lead a varsity team. 
but he has the IQ, and as you said, you've seen him play. I watched the replay uh, a little bit against Greenwood Christian, and he dominated the third quarter and just he seemed like he ran out of gas. So we'll see how good they are, but I like that he starts all guards. I wished when I coached I had one guard, let alone five guys that can uh, shoot the rock. Yeah, the starting lineup is all guards, just like you said, Coach, and they're the tallest one on the roster is at 6-3, and, and Sutton Ramsey, we're not sure if he'll hit the floor or not, but it is a very young, a very small group. Two other guys in the starting lineup are sophomores, and Ren Harper and Braden Luch. They are second and third, respectively, on the team in scoring, and pretty much anybody in the starting five can shoot from the outside. And it takes responsibility tonight. You're in a new environment. The first time, that I think, that they've been here so the brightness of the lights, because they play in a, in a little different atmosphere uh, at Park Heritage, a beautiful gymnasium, but a little darker. I mean, you can see everything in this gym. And uh, so got to get used to the rims. They came in when I came in with my production team uh, this, this afternoon around 5 o'clock. They were already here shooting to get used to the rims. So Coach uh, knows how to do very well because, you know, a couple years ago, this team almost went to the semi-state being in this gym it, it makes uh park heritage gym look about half the size so <laughs> yes. it really you you get your eyes brightened up and and widely open being here in this beautiful facility we will break down the home team the park tutor panthers when we return from our very first break getting closer tip off between park heritage and park tutor you're watching boys basketball powered by indiana srn Welcome back to Bedell Family Court in the Jeffrey and Jennifer Kittle Gymnasium. Panthers coming back out of the locker room. Just a couple more minutes. Coach, that's, my, that's my theme song. You like the music. <laughs> they, Bring them out. They got everybody rocking and rolling yep. before we get this game underway. The home team, the Panthers, they're 2-1 and one this season with Coach Tim Adams, who's in year number five. Could pick up win number 60 tonight, Coach, and he has... Uh, a very different type of squad. We mentioned the youth and the kind of shortness that Park Heritage is. There's a lot of length. There's a lot of experience on the other side with this Panther squad. Yeah, they're they're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I talked to Tim the other day, and he said, you know, I cannot believe we lost to Sassina. Sassina gets beat the next night by a good Covenant Christian team. Sassina caused them fits to have their first loss. Lost at Sassina. We've been to Sassina. It's a tough place to win. Uh, so lost 58-55, but I'm interested in seeing what Coleman does tonight. Very good kid, knows the game, IQ, but you can get physical with him, and does he accept that tonight or does he back off? That, I think, would be the key uh, tonight to see how well he adapts because these guys will challenge him every possession. Jermaine Coleman, a Purdue-Fort Wayne commit, could present a very difficult matchup with his Park Heritage team. Who exactly is going to take the challenge and meet him? Most of his game, though, he likes to play outside. Yep. He can shoot it. He can easily rise up over anybody. But I think he could really take advantage of the size that Park Heritage presents if they can get him some a couple of block touches down low. And I will tell you, folks, he will shoot the ball anywhere. I mean, in, I mean, in the concession stand, he will shoot the ball because that's how good a range he's got. I saw him play the other night. You guys had the game where he shot from the volleyball uh, line four times and made three of them. So he can knock them down. This is a starting lineup that has three seniors, including the lefty shooting Coleman. The other two seniors, Bryce Petty and also Thomas Ruffin. 
It feels like these guys have been playing forever. We've yeah. been covering Park Tudor for quite some time now. They play well together, and just the experience. This is a team that, as this season goes on, I think could really uh, progress in their game, and this is a tough challenge with this Park Heritage team. And the one thing I like about both of these teams, they play tonight, then they don't play a game again until next weekend. So you got a whole entire week to really study this because this could actually be a regional matchup if both of those teams win their sectional. So very interesting, very, very interesting how uh, they schedule these games because if you look at the schedule, it's almost like a regional this weekend and next week. Next weekend, of course, Park Tudor plays uh, Shortridge. Park Heritage plays our good buddies at North Putman. Good ball game next week, but this should be a good game. Keys. Get off to a quick start, both teams. Rebound the ball well, and do not turn over the ball more than 19 times tonight. We said this could be a good matchup for Park, T Park Tudor on their home floor, but for Park Heritage, their opponent's record so far through four games, 4-11. Four and 11. They haven't really played anybody <laughs> right. quite yet. So yeah. for them, too, the Panthers could be their toughest matchup to date. I have 15 seconds to say this. Some people say that, well, you don't play anybody. you got to play. Winning high school basketball in the state of Indiana, believe it or not, is really tough to do. Park Tudor, just a little bit tougher of a schedule to start off with. Seven and seven are the opponents' records that they have seen so far. The last time these two teams met was a day tomorrow last year. Park Heritage won 58 to 45. We'll see what the result is this time around here from Park Tudor. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. You want a career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with Indy as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. This is the Frells family's land. When the sun comes out, the kids run and play right there. This used to be a shed. Now. It's where they get breakfast. This is more than just land. It's home. The Frells family runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor. This land isn't the only thing that should live on for generations. Nothing runs. Back here at Park Tudor High School, let's join the public address announcer for both starting lineups for the Wolves and the Panthers. A senior, number 10, Adam Carrington. A sophomore, number 21, Ren Harper. A sophomore, number 22, Braden Luce. Rounding out the starting five, a freshman, number 23, Trey Chelsky. The head coach for Park Heritage is Rich Chelsky. And now put your hands together. Make some noise and we need the Park Theater Panther. And junior number four. Number 32, Cal Hunter. The head coach in the 
Always a nice little added touch. You turn the lights off. You got the spotlight rocking. I couldn't find my producer. I couldn't find you. I got lost. But I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in my seat, so I'm okay. All right. I'm, I'm, whoo. We're ready to go. Lights are back on. And the starting five real quick again for Park Heritage. It's Dowd, Carrington, Harper, Luce, and Shelsky. And for the home team, Park Tudor, Wilkerson, Petty, Coleman, Ruffin, and Bostic. Officials today all have that professional patch, means they have called the highest level of high school basketball in the state of Indiana. We should have a good crew. We should have a great game. And fasten your seatbelts, because here we go. The Battle of the Park Schools between <laughs> Park Heritage and Park Tudor. The Wolves will control the opening tip, and we're underway. Tempo. Let's see what the tempo looks like. Chelsky, usual man at the point. Harper, the second leading scorer on this Wolves team. Coleman extends out on down. Patient so far, 20 seconds in. Harper, enough space, rises up. Three-pointer over the backboard. And a couple of bounces will head the other way. Uh, the backboards are a little, uh, the rims are a little tight. Pretty decent showing for the Park Tudor student section. Oh, we're going to hear a lot of them tonight. Park Heritage from Rockville, Indiana. Just off the west side of Indianapolis. A decent drive. Swinging things around. Bostic in the corner. Zone defense from Park Heritage. Wilkerson will now drive in. Splits the defense and opens up the scoring on the left side of the bucket. Somebody's got to call for help. Harper hands off with Dow. This is a very decent shooting three-point team are the Wolves. They're at 28%. Three seconds in the lane is the call on our first turnover. I just spotted the chicken. Yep, there he is. Yep. Should be very interesting tonight. Maybe we'll get a guy figuring out the story behind that. Nice pass down low on the block. Thomas Ruffin makes it 4-0. Chelsky, nice change of pace, kicks things out. A three-pointer rattles out, but a good look nonetheless from Luce. And they'll go back to the 2-3 zone. Good pass in the corner. Petty thought about a three, but instead drives with it and loses the handle. Nice defense there underneath the basket to deflect that basketball. Outside, Harper will try another three. It's off the mark. Rough in. If he had his eyes up, he could have had Bostic. Yeah, he had him wide open, didn't he? Shelsky will knock it out of bounds, but a nice quick 4-0 start for Park Tudor. And Park Heritage on their three drives have come up empty so far. Oh. Intercepted. Nice cut off that, cut that pass off at the top of the key. Good eyes by Dowd. Second turnover by Park Tudor. Shelsky guarded by Wilkerson. Gets got, a hand, got that check. hand check. You're going to have to be quick. They match up pretty well to Shelsky and Wilkerson. That's his first, the team's first. Minute and a half in the game. Foul trouble could be a difficult time for Park Tudor. But uh, it's early. Quickly into Dowd, and Shelsky gets it back. Looking at a screen, and Park Tudor in their scouting report wanting to double Shelsky off those ball screens. They do not want him to score, that's for sure. Good pass. Down low, they calling for a travel as Park Tudor and Ruffin on the floor. Bostic able to track it back down. The pressure that Park Tudor has is much better than it was the last couple times we've seen them play this year. Nice pass, Ruffin. Can't use the glass, but he got fouled with it. So a trip to the free throw lineup coming for Thomas Ruffin. Thomas Ruffin to the 
Carrington's first foul. Ruffin, a pretty good free throw shooter under this season. Long white socks on for Ruffin, who was able to knock down the first free throw. Yeah, I thought he was playing in the 1970s. That's how we <laughs> used to wear them. A little bit higher than that, actually. And the shorts were probably a little bit higher, too. Uh, shorts were a little bit higher, yes, sir. Ruffin, a perfect trip. He goes two for two, and he's got four of the six. Coach Shelsky calling out a play, trying to get the first points up on the board. Yeah, they need a basket here. Shelsky will try to do it all himself, a three. Rims out, no good. Wilkerson looking to push the pace. Petty, drive and kick. Same from Wilkerson. Coleman, not much action so far. We're nearly halfway gone in the first quarter. And just as I say something, Coleman's three. Just off the mark, fighting for the rebound is Harper. Now Petty on Shelsky, who looks to drive, switching up the offense. Good defense Good by defense. Bryce Petty. Straight up and down. Up the floor, Wilkerson. Bostic has position, loses the handle on it. Bats out of bounds, and he was the last one to touch it. Quick hands here, Park Tudor, very quick. That's another thing, too, about that GCA game in the season opener. A lot of turnovers. Yes. Of course, you expect that early on. But good active hands defensively is what Park Heritage brings to the table. Carrington looking for somewhere to go with it. Oh, he had him wide open. He didn't get it there. Dowd. Look to go against the much taller Coleman, and that's a matchup you're not going to win. That's a 6'7 guy guarding a 5'11 guy. Petty, Coleman trying to get the assist. He will not. Harper, another rebound. Shelsky pushes the pace slightly. Good drive, baseline, loose. Gets a foul. It's going to be the second one against Wilkerson, and immediately we'll see someone come to the table to replace him. It'll be K.J. Mark, a sophomore, sent to check in, and we'll see two free throws upcoming for Braden Lutz. Lutz felt the contact and, in, and in created more contact to get that ball up on the rim. These are two important free throws here. Will be the first points for Park Heritage, the sophomore Lutz. Nine points, two rebounds per game. Took almost five minutes to, to score a basket. And is knocked down doing some study on this Park Heritage team. They do not miss free throws. They they were, I think, 12 for 12 against the Greenwood Christian Cougars uh, yeah. a couple weeks ago. They're shooting 75% as a team this year. Foul as Bostic went baseline. Carrington for him. That's his second. So we'll see a substitution for Coach Shelsky as well. Ethan Tidwell, also a freshman, checks in. This this Park Heritage team is almost like a JV team with the it, not many seniors on this ball club. Well, not many of these guys are playing JV basketball, ever played JV. <laughs> as exactly right. They're getting a lot of time as the underclassmen. Panthers trying to get everybody a touch. Ruffin's at the top of the key. The newly checked in KJ Mark closer to us as Ruffin gets into the lane. And just uses his shooting hand to throw that one down. I got him for six already tonight. Indeed he does, six of the eight, a six-point lead. You know, go back to that comment about the young. You know, if you could sell your young kids, hey, we're going to take some knocks in a year, but it's going to help you a couple years later. Uh, this will be a totally different team two years from now, even a year from now. Ruffin after the rebound, got it back, and then Petty, a tough drive. Baseline can't use the glass, thought he got fouled. And now Shelsky, who's hobbling a bit down the floor. Did he get tangled up with somebody? It, much better now. Ooh, he is hobbling. And Petty took it at him. Real tough, not on the same page. A turnover committed by the Wolves, and will 
keep an eye on Shelsky. He's got a grimace on his face as he heads back down to the other end of the floor. Third turnover of this quarter committed by the Wolves. And it looks like those ankles have been taped already. Yeah, he's looking like he's got a little bit of pain there. Up the top of this 2-3 zone along with Dowd. Outside, K.J. Mark, pretty good three-point shooter, but he left that one well short, and it trickles out of bounds. Come on, Washington, meanwhile, has checked in. He wears number 11, a junior guard, as has Keelan Smith. He's a freshman. And they're going to pick them up man-to-man -man all over the place now. Mass substitution, Drew DeFrance caught his eye. He's number one. So Coach Adams utilizing his bench, Shelsky. Finds a wide open man on the block, but he butchered the shot. Missing it to Tidwell. And now Coleman nearly gave it right back. Dangerous pass, but caught in by Mark. Coleman, the lone starter, still out on the floor. Hasn't come out yet. As we've hit the final minute of play in this first quarter. Down on the block, that's a missed shot. Followed up, also missed by Washington. Here come the Wolves. Down, gets a hand check as he goes baseline. The foul's gonna be on Washington. This first quarter brought to you by Industrial Sales Associates. They've been an electromechanical component manufacturer's representative for many states, including Illinois, Indiana, and Kentucky. Good luck to all teams during the sports season. For more information, contact Rich at 317-546. 1900 Industrial Sales Associates. We want to thank Rick and his crew for underwriting tonight's game. Well, that was a panic. It was for Dowd. Oh, got him up. Good shot. Nice. Pick. And well done to use the glass for Max Dowd. Still a low scoring game. Just the fourth point for the Wolves. Final 25 for Park Tudor. A game, uh, really a quarter that Park Tudor has dominated, but you're only down by four. You got to feel pretty good with, about yourself. For 10 seconds, Park Tudor will try to find an opening against this zone defense. They get it inside into the lane, up with the right, and it's going to go down to end the first quarter. Keelan Smith. Puts Park Tudor into double digits with 10. They lead by six over the visiting Park Heritage Bowl. Second quarter, we will come back with it when we return on Indiana SRN. We really focus on modern application development, DevOps, so automating the whole process of delivering your solution, and cloud architecture. It's very important uh, for large, mid to large companies to have cloud partners because you can't possibly have all the talent you need to address the complex ecosystem of the cloud. We advise them on all parts of their business. And then when things are defined and we see a clear goal, Cleanslate also then goes and does the work. We have a team that is very passionate about what they do. We love to solve complex problems, and there's a lot of companies out there that will avoid you know, getting involved in those things, and I think that's why clients like to work with us. High school, the site of this matchup, Panthers and Wolves. Here's a look back at Keelan Smith. He ended the first quarter with this basket right before the buzzer. Just 10 points, but coach, it feels like Park Tudor has a good grasp of how they want to attack the 2-3. I like how they're controlling the, the offensive boards as well. Uh, defensively, they've shut down Park Heritage a little bit. Yeah, just four points in that quarter. Two from Dowd and two made free throws from Luce. And oh. Dowd risking it, going for the steal, Coleman left it short over the front of the rim, but it's rebounded by Washington. His putback won't go. Coleman trying to create some space, and they say he got fouled. Coleman should have just muscled that up. It really was good or timid. Tidwell on the foul, his first. 
Three team fouls on both sides now. Coleman. Yet to score up until now. Coach Zelski saying, hey, he's climbing all over backs. Well, he's 6'9 six, he's six, or 6'10, Coach. He's got a little bit of space there. Park Tudor has also matched up with Greenwood Christian Academy this year, and Coleman finished that game with 16 points. That was their second game of the season. So a common opponent amongst the two. Park Heritage has an advantage. Shelsky just one shot attempt so far. They're double teaming him again. Trying to get out of that mess. Over to Dowd. Three pointer from the wing. It's no good. Park, two, or Park Heritage. 0 for 3 so far from the on the arc. Shelsky met by Coleman. And it's Park Tudor basketball. They just can't buy a basket. Their, their length is bothering them a little bit. Drew to France with a couple of minutes. He takes a seat. And Bryce Petty has checked back in. Petty, nice pass to Washington, and then he made a cut, but it was good reaction there by Luce to get a hand on it. Shelsky going at Mark. He changed his pace on the drive. Rebound by Tidwell. Tips out to Luce, so Park Heritage. Although Luce is in some trouble, he's double teamed, and they get a timeout. They snuck one in. Now the referees will talk about it. Coach Shelsky thinks he got a timeout in, and that's going to be the case. It's just going to be a 30-second timeout, so good reaction by Coach Shelsky as he saw Luce was in some pretty deep trouble. This second quarter is brought to you by Aspen Creek Grill. For you like treating someone special to a delicious meal from Aspen Creek Grill, next time you come in for dinner, buy some gift cards. Hey, it's that time of it's year. It's that time of the year. Aspen Creek Grill, great food, great atmosphere. Coach recommends the Pow Wow Shrimp. It's located in Noblesville, Indiana. Take a look at tomorrow's games right here on the network of Indiana SRN. Kevin Christian taking on Greenwood Christian Girls Varsity. A new start time. It is a 12 noon start time. So you might want to check your calendar on that one. And then tomorrow night, Jared and Sean Craw, Traders Point, Kevin and Christian. Traders Point playing tonight against uh, North Vermillion. Kevin and Christian played last night against Greenwood Christian. Uh, and then on Tuesday night, Horizon Christian, a very good ball club, taking on Traders Point tomorrow, uh, Tuesday night. And Pendleton Heights and Gary and Catholic both at 730. Our gift to you, basketball. Turnover, a gift by the Wolves given over to Park Tudor now. Each team with four turnovers in this first half. Hard to believe the girls are almost done. They got nine games left after Tuesday. That is hard to Crazy. believe. Crazy. We got a lot of games on the network tonight as this pass is batted out. Wrapping up a pretty hefty week schedule. Yeah, this week for sure. They get even heftier. Four games on the network tonight, is that right? Yep, four tonight, two tomorrow, and then a bunch next week. Coleman, some quick feet, gets cut off. And then a couple holiday tournaments during Christmas break. Nice dump down from Petty to Washington. He gets fouled. A chance at a three-point play for come on, Washington. Foul called on Dowd as Ruffin is into the ball game. Washington makes it a 10 point advantage. And will not mm. be 11, cannot convert on the three point play. Two minutes gone by, so 10 minutes played for Park Heritage and just four points to show for it. This defense of Park Tudor stifling early on. Shelsky trying to change that, and he does. First points for Trey Shelsky. The freshman averages 23 points per game along with six boards. Like how he set his feet, went straight up. 
the numbers from the season opener, Shelsky finished with 22, including in the free throw category, he went 11 of 12. As a basketball coach, that travel 40 feet away from the basket drives you nuts because he has to set his feet. you got to find out what you're going to do. You can't take a step and then dribble. I had hair <laughs> when I was coaching. I don't have hair anymore because of that. Tidwell still in the ball game. The rest of the starting five out there, or the rest of the five out there are starters. Tidwell trying to go up and under. Harper comes flying nice. in with the putback. Ren Harper's in the box score. Park Heritage cuts it down to six. Coleman, that's deep. He can shoot from he there. He can shoot from there. So Dowd will have to play that accordingly. Washington again gets fouled and converts the bucket. No, will they say it's on the floor? Way before, says the referee. It was not going to be a good basket for Washington. So we'll have out of bounds under. Cal Bostic, a normal starter. He's back into the ballgame, as is K.J. Mark. The whistle might have been a little late. Uh, is that down second? Sure is. Wow. Two fouls apiece for Carrington and Dow. Those are two starters. Yes. Coleman, catch and shoot. Don't want to leave that man open. First three-pointer for either team as Jermaine Coleman knocks it down. He has five on the night. Nine-point lead. Harper trying to get around Ruffin, got into the paint, and they call a reach-in foul on Thomas Ruffin. Ruffin setting the pace so far for Park Tudor with his six first quarter points. Then Coleman has five. Shelsky and Petty. It's been Petty guarding him for most of this first half so Yeah, but far. once he gets the ball, you see two guys surrounding him quick. They do like to double whenever Shelsky has it, especially off of a screen. There's another foul. This one tagged on K.J. Mark. Shelsky, one dribble and oh. a deep three for Trey Shelsky. Shelsky trying to become a problem. Back down to a six-point game. A little bit of three-quarter court press. Leaves Petty wide open. Good shot fake. Got Carrington into the air. Bryce Petty with his first points. Carrington and Harper dueling back and forth. Harper had one of the first shots of the game for Park Heritage, but has been quiet since. Gets it back. Going up against the much bigger rough end with 3.10 left to go in the quarter. Shelsky in front of the student section, getting hounded by a couple of students from behind. Carrington, nice spin move, but Coleman, an even bigger rejection. Loose off a screen. Catch and shoot. That's pretty good for Braden Loose. He's got five. Mark. Dangerous pass. Intercepted. Loose has it. Doesn't have the numbers, but finds Shelsky wide open in the corner, and he put too much mustard on it. But it'll stay with Park Heritage. Timeout on the floor called by Coach Adams as the Panthers' lead is now down to five. It's a full timeout. We'll step aside with 2.32 left to go in this second quarter. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over one million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets.
can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. A 19-14 lead right now for Park Tudor. This is the block by Coleman. Getting into the lane, or at least trying to, but you're not going to have much success down there. You know, I noticed today when we played horse, I did that to you a couple of times, yeah. and you just didn't shoot the ball anymore. That's funny. I don't really remember that taking I, place. I think Chuck's my witness because huh. he was calling me the racer. Okay. Okay. That's a new one. Maybe I was dreaming. <laughs> 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 it's good to be working with you again. Yeah. Good to have you back. Although I think I, I'm wanting a trip too, just like you. I, I, okay. That sounds nice. Get rid of this cold weather. Loose, way short on the three. Ruffin has a rebound, and we're closing in on the two-minute warning. Still a 2-3 zone from Park Heritage. Ruffin steps out. Coleman steps way out for that three. My goodness. Second triple for Jermaine Coleman. He's got eight points. Half time tonight. Park Tudor is going to honor their two soccer teams who won the state championships. Can't answer with a three is Harper. And we will be talking to Dr. Hart. Shelsky, tough take. Bostic may have affected it a little bit. Eight-point advantage, and the Panthers are out running. Coleman will switch wings, and it still doesn't matter for Jermaine Coleman. Back-to-back -back threes. I got him with 11. And that's the Quick. lead. That's 11 points. Carrington, dangerous pass. Ruffin intercepts it, running with Petty. A little lob, and it's easy transition offense for the Panthers. And it forces a Park Heritage timeout. 27 to 14, a 13 point lead, the largest of the game. We'll be back with 104 left to go in the quarter. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. Why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified applicants. Well, Jermaine Coleman has 11 points right now, and they've all come in this second quarter, which is brought to you in part by Ref Reps, designed in partnership with numerous state high school associations, helping officials to hone their skills and promote unity in the officiating world. Ref Reps, for the new official as well as the seasoned vet, contact us at refreps.com. Hey, you were one of those before. Oh, yeah. 40 years ago. Which, which would you rather be, a... Uh, uh, Coach or an official? Uh, depends on what season of my life was. I enjoyed coaching a lot. I really enjoyed officiating. I officiated after I got done coaching, and I expect uh, I respect the official big time. This is a foul away from the basketball, and not something you want to see out of the timeout. The foul's on Braden Loose. Six fouls on the Wolves, five for Park Tudor, but... We are under a minute to play, so we may not see very many free throws. I never lost a game as I officiated. I lost a lot of games when I coached. <laughs> Your winning percentage, though, in the stripes <laughs> is a lot better. It was great. Coleman, he wants another one. Not this time. Maybe a heat check after he made his last two. 35 seconds for Shelsky and company. He'll hand off to Harper in front of the student section. Tidwell is still out there along with Luce and Dowd. Shelsky 
Shelsky. Change of pace, but Coleman is still there. Another rejection. He has a couple. Outside, Ruffin, catch and shoot three, transition. It won't foul, and Dowd has the rebound with 10. Wolves down 13, looking for a final bucket before the buzzer. Shelsky will do it all himself over Petty, too short, long rebound. Mark in control, and the halftime buzzer sounds with Park Tudor so far controlling home court advantage with a 13-point lead, 27 to 14 is our halftime score, and Jermaine Coleman, coach, has 11 points. He started to catch fire in that second quarter of play. Yeah, and you know, you look at the you look at the the pace of the game. Park Tudor, Timmy uh, Adams has to be really, really happy about the pace of the game. Should be a very interesting second half because Park Heritage will coach is really good at adjusting. We'll see what happens here in the second half. We'll take a break. We'll have a special guest along with Coach. When we return, Dr. Hart, associate head of school here at Park Tudor, will join us after a short message. 27-14, the halftime score. You're watching Indiana High School Basketball, powered by Indiana SRN. Greed, selfish interest, and barefaced corruption seem all the fashion. America needs great men of tolerance who can give honest debate to the great issues of the day. I've seen mostly squabbling, men squandering their time, being wolves to one another. Yet, I'm not without hope. We still have Freemasonry. Yes. The same Freemasons that helped create this country have always provided great men when needed. And today, in every city and town in America, Freemasonry is still providing that special place where young men can find their greatness and accomplished men can give something back. Yes, in this time of great hope, it is my hope that America will see that Freemasonry is a national treasure that cannot be separated from our country's future. Piper Group Warehouse has a strong commitment to their clients as their logistics provider. If you would like to discover how you can improve your service levels while lowering your overall cost, Piper Logistics Group can help. Call Greg Piper today at 317-396-3916. Piper Logistics Group. Yeah, I'd like to order a hamburger, fries, salt, maybe a large vanilla shake. Yeah. This is a trophy shop, can't you tell? You got a counter right here. Isn't this where you place the orders? We sell trophies, we sell plaques, we do embroidery. No food. You got carry out? Unlike the internet, everything that you need, we have here at the shop. Very unique. You order today, carry out tonight, that's our version of carry out. All right, I'll take one of everything. Well, that may take a little longer. We'll have it for you tomorrow night. You know, Jim, I'll be back. Back here at Park Tudor High School as they congratulate both men and women's soccer as they both won state championships. And with us now is Dr. Hart. And you got to be pretty impressed and happy about that. We are. We're so impressed. We're so happy with not only the outcome and the, the progress that they've made, but the time and the grit that they put into their studies. We believe fundamentally in the student athlete, their students first, and everything we teach in the classroom and in the school, we hope, um, we believe will translate into the fields and the courts. And in this case, it did in the most wonderful way. Um, these are amazing kids who do amazing things every day. They're taking APs, they're studying late at night, and they're Ladies giving all that they have when they go on the soccer field, the basketball court, and every other place that we celebrate. You, you said a and word that's not familiar with me. Yeah. AP. No. <laughs> Sorry, Doc. I did uh, talk a little bit about the, about the facilities. We came in. We were greeted. Courtney Whitehead and his staff does an outstanding job. Looking for a halftime guest. He goes, I got the perfect one for you. Talk about the facilities. And talk, we'll talk a little bit about the academics, but talk a little bit about the facilities because with the new renovation of the football field 
uh, the soccer field, the baseball field, and now this gymnasium. What a what a campus. What a campus and how fortunate we are and how blessed we feel to have 55 acres of just pure beauty. Um, this gym, I think, is a testament to the love that alumni and, and donors and families have for the institution and all that we put into and pour into children. Um, I think that the relationships that we build over time are absolutely pay off and the investments we make in children absolutely uh, yield incredible results. Um, our facilities are, I think, a testament to the importance of spaces and how spaces can cultivate in kids the very genius that uh, exists in them, both athletically and academically. So, And then with Indiana SRN, this is our third year being here with basketball, football a little bit, uh, cover a, a little bit of your uh, baseball program. Uh, we feel like a, a privilege. That we have been blessed to have a donor pay for our funds Fantastic. and for you and if they would like to do that they can more welcome to contact me at coach at indiana srn well, but that's got to be an important part of the community absolutely we are so grateful to have indiana srn here with us we're so grateful to have you covering um our athletic games and and matches and uh, you know we believe in partnering with families and making the investment on the front end and when we do so, I think families, donors, parents, grandparents even, notice that, see that, and pour back into the community. And at the core of what we do, we're building a community, and the athletics program is such a huge part of that, right? We believe in sort of what we call the trifecta effect, the right. athletics, the arts, and the um, academic pieces, and this is such a core to who we are, and our parents understand that. They buy into this notion that you can be athletically talented and academically talented, talented and talented in the arts. Dr. Hart joins us. She's the associate head of the school here at Park Tudor High School. Academics is a very uh, key part of this. Brad Lennon, you know Brad. Brad I and know I Brad. know yeah. long, were athletic directors when I was at a school. He helped us, in fact. Doctor, you gave us our first soccer goals wow. when we started yeah. our athletic program. And Brad and I drove a flatbed yeah. from here to the facility where oh, we wow. played on. Yeah. Uh, the, the relationship that we have had is really promising. But talk about the academics. His, these, You know, a lot of people say, well, they're geniuses. Well, they just get the books. They do. And, and by the way, we're all here at this school on the same team. I support Courtney. I supported Brad when he was here. We... Uh, all go back a long, long ways. I've been here for 19 years and have been able to see the growth and the trajectory and the seeds that Brad Lennon and Courtney Whitehead sow into this athletic program to make sure that it's top notch. Our coaches are extremely competent and we search long and hard and wide to make sure that we bring coaches in that can cultivate the skills that our student athletes have. And we fine-tune that with Indiana SRN. Yes, we do. Uh, yes, I we like do. that, right? <laughs> the last question, uh, Christmas break, school doesn't shut down. The school shuts down a little bit. These kids still study, get their books, don't they? They do. They still study. They still practice, whether it's on the court or, you know, they're maybe doing, maybe doing some kind of agility training. They yeah. just don't give up. And, you know, being a values-based school, respect, responsibility, resourcefulness, integrity, intellectual engagement, we're hoping that we build a sense of, of, of grit, right? We yeah. want kids to be good word. strong human beings, good citizens, and that we expect to translate in every area of their lives. So, no, they won't stop, right? They won't stop reading. They won't stop studying. Now, we do encourage them to pause a little bit, right? Got to got to eat that holiday <laughs> food, man. It's you like, got to spend time with your family. Yeah, that's right? true. I mean, we want to build balanced communities, and right. we want to have balanced uh, lifelong learners. And part of that is also taking a break from the thing. But I will tell you that the, the level of commitment that our students exhibit is what makes us become state champions. It's what makes us have, you know, a 13-point lead at halftime. You know, it's all those things that we sometimes take for granted that translate really well into the extracurricular activities of a student. I could talk to you all day. Same. It's, it's, it's been a joy. 
We will see you the again. The joy is ours. Thank you for being here. You bet. We'll be back. I hope again, so. Again, if you'd like to help with that sponsorship, contact me at coach at IndianaSRN. Doc Hart, thanks. Thank you. We'll take a break. We'll come back right after this. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. Violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. Sportsmanship is a fair, generous behavior or treatment to others. Be a good sport. Respect our coaches, players, officials, fans, and even your broadcasters. Indiana SRN and the Indiana High School Athletic Association state officials challenge you to be a good sport because sportsmanship begins with you. Back with Jarrett Lewis, second half. Here we go. Here we go is right. What a great halftime guest. What oh, a fun. Yeah. A lot was. of fun. Tremendous. Park Tudor in great hands. Shelsky starting off early. I think he needs to warm up a little bit, don't you? Yep, he had five points in that first half, and the rest of the team as well. Probably could use a warm-up. Dowd keeping it in play. He tried to throw it off of Coleman, but it was goes beyond Coleman and into the hands of Shelsky. And how about that? Shelsky, 30 seconds in, has four points in the quarter. Back under 10 points, and there's another turnover. Park Tudor had five in that first half, but they already have two to start off the second. Much better start to the second half than for the game. Carrington just throws up a prayer. He was off balance, and Ruffin bailed him out. He did indeed. That's two on Thomas. So Carrington, who had two fouls in that first half, he missed a lot of playing time sitting on the bench. He can put his first points up on the scoreboard. The press is pretty impressive, so to speak. It's been effective thus far. Carrington's first free throw is no good. This second half brought to you by Jack Cherry Insurance Agency. We suggest you contact his team for all your insurance needs, whether it's family, car, business, or home. An insurance company to serve you. 317-894-7000. And Carrington becomes the fifth and final starter to score for Park Heritage. Eight-point lead, a little bit of a press still intact. Up the floor, Bostic will drive, and he'll kick out in loose. Forces Wilkerson to catch it at the line, and he was on the other side, and then he went over and back. The, the coach is saying the ball was tipped, but the ball wasn't tipped until it got the half court. That's an excellent call, and I hope we got. I hope we get to see that again. That's an excellent call by the official. It was loose. You got a hand on it. Three turnovers already forced by Park Heritage. Carrington. What a spin move, but Bostic. Nope, he traveled. Good reaction, so either way, Park Tudor is going to get the basketball. Can't take four steps. Now you do, but no one else does. Wilkerson cross court, good pass. Coleman up to oh! Bostic, and he was met by two guys. That was a little physical. They're going to get Carrington. Harper was also in the area, but for Carrington, that's number three. Uh, I think they would have liked to have Barker on that. I think so, this, too. This this press uh, has really thrown Park Tudor off a little bit. I think they've mastered it. Put the ball in the middle of the floor. Oh, long free throw. Bostick's free throw, no good. The sophomore. Another look at that foul. Really tough take for Cal. It's a hard foul. Second free throw, high arcing shot, nothing but net. 
Nine point Panther lead. Dow waiting for somebody to get open. Same starting five to start the second half for both teams. Coach Shelsky doesn't like what he sees. He wants a 30 second timeout to talk things timeout. over. It's been a good start to the second half nonetheless, but still trailing by nine. Tam's Sweet and Savory Cafe, a new spot for breakfast or lunch. They're open Wednesday through Sunday. Try the classic breakfast and our sweet baked goods. They're located in Lawrence, Indiana at 6427 Oakland and Road. You can carry out with Tam's. You can call them at 317-760-1640. I was gone eight days. I missed the sloppy joes. Oh, no. Uh, in fact, I, I, I can't be there tomorrow either. So looks like I got to go before Sunday service. I still have to try it. It's uh, it's excellent. It sounds really good. It's really good when somebody else buys your food. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Cox and I, we had a game not so long ago, and we couldn't. We were so hungry by the end of the game, talking about all the food that. Well, we haven't hit our Tams official donut yet. Yeah, that's right. That's coming up later. If you'd like to be part of that sponsorship, you can contact us at coach at Indiana SRN. Maybe some donuts are in order for tomorrow morning. That's a good idea. There's a good idea. Timeout called, and you hook up loose with a three. That's his second three. He's got eight points. The tandem of him and Shelsky kind of dominated quarter number two together, and now quarter number three, they're both off to tremendous starts. Petty. Into the lane, drove by everybody, got his own rebound and put it in off the glass. Nobody boxed out Bra Bryce Petty after his shot. Petty now has six. Drive by Harper and he gets cut off, but enough contact to call a foul on Ruffin. I have Ruffin for three. That's what I have. And that'll force some substitutions. And that's going to change the size a little bit. Ruffin's made a big difference. I got him unofficially for 10 points. Uh, check that. Six points tonight. Coach Adams responds with sending out Keelan Smith and come on, Washington. Harper, shot fake. Got to the bucket, but he got fouled. Got the head. Washington, who just checked in, picks up his first personal. Came in, Washington will send Harper to the line so far. Ren Harper, two points. And he'll stay at two for the moment. The sophomore, 11 points, three rebounds per game. First free throw missed by Park Heritage tonight. So, or before that, they were three of three. Second free throw does fall in for Harper. Seven-point game. Petty trying to beat this press with Wilkerson. They'll put it up the floor to Coleman. Good call. He was close to the line. Couldn't tell from our vantage point if he stepped out, but it was a foul. They're going to get Carrington. For Carrington, that's number four. Unfortunate game so far for Carrington, just one point. Well, he was forcing him out of bounds. It, it has to be a foul because there's no force out any longer. That's a good call, and that's a tight corner there oh, we're, we're looking right at it. Back to their usual defense in this 2-3 zone. Petty, Dow got a hand on it, and good effort play by Dow. He nearly ran right into the railing. That would not feel good. <laughs> That's a, yeah, good point for our producer. That's good. Good analysis by Coach. That's not going to feel good, but that one does. That's a good bucket for Keelan Smith. He's got four points off the bench. I guess that's why they pay through the big bucks. <laughs> Harper got his man in the air, but his shot does not go. Now came in Washington, has some numbers down to Coleman, and there's an easy two-handed flush. For Jermaine, 13 points, his first of the second half. And I think the student body just comes to watch him dunk. Dowd, nice little jump stop. He got in the lane, and it's going to be petty, it looks like. He got some contact. 
This is uh, this is pretty impressive, right? It's here. pretty easy, I think, when you're six seven. Yeah. I need a trampoline. <laughs> So Dowd's at the line. First free throw attempts for him tonight. Three points after that made bucket. Kind of hovering around a nine and ten point lead as this game has gone nearly halfway in this quarter. They've scored more points this quarter than they did in this second uh, first quarter. They only scored four in the first quarter. Knocked out of bounds by Luce. And they've scored 11 in this quarter. So coach must have said something to get them excited. Something happened to the chicken. He got hot, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. So he's kind of bearing some skin. Coleman in the corner. That's pretty easy, too. The man can do it all. Fourth made three for Jermaine, 16 points. <laughs> Another good producer joke. Half-baked chicken over there. Fouls on Washington. Check that. Yes. They did get Washington, so he has three. Three. K.J. Mark will now come in for Washington. A quick trip out on the floor for him, but his team still leads by 12. Shelsky started off this quarter pretty hot, making two buckets in the first 30 seconds. Petty has guarded him pretty well. It's a good-looking jumper, but Shelsky's off the mark slightly. Coleman, another attribute on his resume. Good ball handler. Look at that ball movement. That is excellent. Everybody getting a touch. They swing things around. Good deflection by Shelsky, but nobody's there to help him out. A good dump down to Keelan Smith on the block. I got Keelan with six. Real good assist, too. 14-point lead. Tied for the largest of the game. For Park Tudor, traveling violation called now on Ren Harper. And ever since those early turnovers that Park Tudor were committing, they have responded well. Ruffin coming back off the bench. Coleman will take a seat. Well, I don't think we'll see Coleman. Oh, a little bit of water on the floor. As we have this break, don't forget tomorrow we got high school basketball for you. Covenant Christian and Greenwood Christian Academy girls game 12 noon. And then tomorrow night, Traders Point taking on Covenant Christian 730 boys game. Tuesday, double header for you, double dip. Horizon Christian School, very good in the ICST, taking on a Traders Point team uh, on Tuesday night at 730. And then Pendleton Heights, Garen Catholic, 730 start. That Traders Point team is playing tonight uh, and then play tomorrow night. So back to back for them and then no rest for the weary. They go right back at it on Tuesday night. Three games and five nights. That's pretty tough, even with a 16 year old. That's exactly right. Park Heritage, they're going to be dealing with the same thing. They have to play tomorrow, so they're double dipping this weekend. We get another whistle, but this one is in play. It's a three second call called on Park Tudor. And that is the second time. Second three point, uh, three second violation. The first time I've seen that all year. Yeah, it's it's it funny doesn't you say be called that. anymore. It's funny you say that because you hardly see that called at all anymore. anymore. And we've seen it twice in this game. But still a violation. Yes, sir. Down shot falls short. Petty maneuvering around, and they'll bring things back out and reset the offense. Petty's out there with Ruffin, Smith, Wilkerson, and Mark. They're begging him to throw that three-pointer up there. Oh, Ruffin. Nearly Ruffin was steal. wide open. Petty got into the lane. Park Heritage fans wanted to walk. Ruffin spins around and had some contact. It got deflected out of his hands. Shelsky met by Wilkerson. 
It's either been him or Petty guarding Shelsky. Ted Wells, six man off the bench, has it. He was open for a second, but Shelsky had his back turned. Loose. Rises up. Fighting for the rebound. It bounces into the hands of Petty. Pushes it up. Wilkerson going down. Blocking foul called on Loose. It was a decent try. But Wilkerson with a strong take to the rack. Fouls against number 22, that's number two on loose. Took the bump, but wasn't there in time. So far for Wilkerson tonight, he got in foul trouble early, but ever since, it's been solid play. Since that free throw, he now has three points. Park Tudor has only missed two free throws as a team which means they're shooting six of eight. 15 point lead now for Park Tudor. Wilkerson makes it 16. Largest lead of the night. Shelsky trying to get going again. He's pretty good at those pull up jumpers right around the elbow. I got him for nine in the quarter. Poked out of bounds. You know, you look at the score, and as lopsided it is, this is a really good game for Park Heritage because this this is probably one of the three or four tough teams they literally have to play. This gets you ready for the tournament. I mean, the tournament's 14 games away, but. Oh. Offensive foul called on Smith. I guess they got him with the off arm. Pretty strong. He moved him a little bit, didn't he? Minute to play in this quarter. Shelsky sees that double, and the pass was too strong. Harper couldn't handle it. Park Heritage. Just 27 points. As we're nearly through the end of this third quarter, they averaged 61 on the season while only giving up 50 to their opponents. A mixture of turnovers and just a lot of stuff not falling for Park Heritage so far tonight. Really slow start. And that was one of your keys, especially for Park Heritage. That yes. would be a key is getting off to a good start on the road against a very competitive and athletic team that you don't match up with very well. There's a turnover. Shelsky got Coleman up in the air. That was the key to putting that basket in. Shelsky's got 13 points. Wilkerson breaks the press. Ruffin just inside the three-point line. A bounce. Shelsky fighting for the rebound along with DeFrance. Good hustle play. Aero stays with Park Tudor. Go for one here? I think so. Oh. Oh, a good pass. Rough in. No one boxes out Smith, and he'll end a trip to the line. I you think know, Coach Shelsky had that play identified. Yeah, Coach saw that it was a post screen, and they didn't pick it up. Shelsky on the foul. That's his first, I do believe. Keelan Smith, really good player off the bench so far. Stuck at six points for the moment. But he's been the sixth man. Another thing for Park Tudor, they've had four guys coming off the bench. For Coach Shelsky and Park Heritage, just one substitution at their utilage. That's yeah, going to be hard to find a player of the game. Smith good on the second. Here comes Shelsky. Park Heritage down 13. Nobody picks up Shelsky. You can't do that, but he does miss it. We have a foul going after the ball. It's going to be on somebody of the Panthers. They got Wilkerson with a shove. And with that foul, Park Heritage now in the one and one. 
for the duration of this game. They'll have another eight minutes in the one and one. Tidwell, good on the first. But misses the second, rebound by Smith, and that's how the third quarter will end. Three quarters down, a 42 to 30 score with the Panthers still in control here from Jeffrey and Jennifer Kittle Gymnasium at Park Tudor High School. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. Eight minutes left to go in this one. It's been Park Tudor the entire way out. This lead has just been jumping around from 12 points down to eight. Park Heritage needs to get on a run here, I think, and, and early, too, to try to get this down to a two-possession game. And the good thing is they're in the bonus, which, which means they can move the ball. They get fouled. They're at the free throw line. That stops the clock. Could be a very long quarter. That way, if you're Park Tudor, you just want to maintain separation. You want to keep it at anywhere from... 8 to 14 to 16. That fast break basket. For the Wolves, and they started off this second half able to get some fast break points, turn some defense into offense. Forcing some turnovers as Coleman forces one. Trying to create some space, a huge Euro step. Boy. That was probably the longest Euro <laughs> step I think I've ever seen from Coleman, who now has 18 points. Did it not take about, took about eight feet. Went through a couple of European countries on that step to get to the bucket. And a missed shot by Park Heritage. Ruffin. Deep. Right wing three. That's good. How about the hot start for Park Heritage? Ruffin steps out, picks up his ninth point. 17 point lead by Tudor. Loose, catch and shoot. Not enough on it. Harper, he'll try a three of his own after the rebound. Bostic with a good box out down low. Didn't shoot the ball well tonight. Coleman. Coleman's like, leave this alone. A good cut oh. by Wilkerson. <laughs> Wilkerson came from well extended beyond the left wing to catch that pass and an easy lay in. Full timeout called by Coach Shelsky. The lead has grown to 19, 49 to 30. The score with the Panthers in control. Burtner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first-time or long-time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. Can't make it to the game? We've got your back. Just go to www.indianasrn.org and tune in to all of the live action or go to our on-demand service and relive your favorite moments. Here's the replay of Tremaine Coleman covering a lot of ground. He started at the three-point line. Have you ever seen so much ground covered in a Euro step? Everyone's a happy camper, though, here at the Bedell Family Court. Graham is with us. Graham's in fifth grade. He's a Park Tudor fan. Graham, who's your favorite player on the high school team? 
Oh, it's a tough, it's a tough, tough decision. You got a lot to choose from. Oh, Jermaine. Jermaine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Coleman. Yes, it's a good choice. Hey, Coleman's got 18 points tonight. What do you think about that? Whoa. Yeah. It's a lot. He's balling. Graham, thanks for joining us, man. You're your, welcome. Your team's doing pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Panthers are up 19, and they get the ball right back. Graham wants my job. <laughs> hey, he might have a future. Who's his favorite player? Coleman. Jermaine. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. He had to think about it for a while. There's yeah. a lot of good ones to choose from, including Wilkerson, who gets a steal, but Chelsky excuse me, takes it right back. Each team now has committed double-digit turnovers. Shelsky left it short with the left. Oh, and the oh, angle. Trey is down, and it doesn't look good. Coleman answers with a three at the other end. Coleman has five three-pointers tonight, but Shelsky now is the story. He went down and immediately grabbed at that right ankle. And hopefully it's might be a cramp. Hopefully it's just a cramp for sure. But the lead has extended to 22. We will step aside. 52 to 30 is our score. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. Well, the good news is Shelsky is up, and he made it to the bench under but his own power. The trainer's talking to him. He goes, no, no, I, I'm okay. I, I can get back. They were stretching him out. looked like it could be a cramp, and hopefully that's all that it is. Yep. But Shelsky, for the moment, on the bench, and his team trailing by 22. Coleman not biting on the back door from Dowd. Nothing going the Wolves' ways, and now Bostic gets a, into the block party. Dowd drags that pivot foot. Another traveling violation going and, against the Wolves. And what we see here on the court, what's very interesting, part tutor trainer comes down and asks, is there anything you need? That's great class, and that's the way this whole entire organization is. Uh, you know, do you need anything? Let me help you get that player back on the floor. And guess what? He's back on the He's floor. He's back out there. He wanted to get out there, I'm sure, as soon as possible. Full court press. Shelsky's a part of it with Dow, but Petty able to push it up the floor, break it with Coleman, and that's just too easy for Jermaine, who now has 23 points. I think I know who our player of the game might be. It wasn't too clear just a quarter ago, but now I think it is. Jermaine has made five three-pointers tonight. Dow travels with it. Park, Park Tudor plays Shortridge on the 10th, uh, 13th, uh, which is Tuesday night. And of course, Park Heritage plays tomorrow against North Putman. Yeah, Park Tudor will be rewarded with a break, but it won't be the same for the Wolves who will play at home tomorrow night. That does help though. But we'll turn home to that very nice elementary gym that we got to visit uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I told coach it was great to be there. And man, the, the outpouring of the community, love this. Washington with a foul away from the basketball. It's on. Come on, Washington. In fact, your buddy that talked to you at halftime of the football game wants to see you at the end of the game. He set the oh, scores he table. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a great talk with him about the Covered Bridge Festival and yeah. everything Rockville has to Rock offer. 
And Park Heritage has only been around for, I believe, five years. Consolidated, Consolidated with, with Rockville and Turkey Run. Yes. And they're still one. Uh, well, they just now 2A for basketball. Loose. Got a hand on it. Shelsky. After the tip from Dowd. Dangerous pass, but. Coleman was ready for that one. Wolves still in control, and now a block from Mark. Another one. Oh, they'll get him uh, with a foul this time, but K.J. Mark. Him, Bostic, and Coleman now are running a three-man block party for this Panther defense. Second foul on Mark. Still shooting free throws is Park Heritage, who hasn't scored yet in this quarter we just realized. Here's the foul. No question. Harper just three points tonight, now has four. This lead has just grown and grown. At halftime, it was a 13-point advantage. Panthers turn the ball back over, and Shelsky... Oh, they're going to give him the continuation. And Washington came flying through. I tell you what, Washington may have stuck his foot out there and connected with Shelsky, who three or four times tonight, he's done it very well and at the right moment. Shelsky's got the defender up in the air. That's what you got to do against a team that is much, much taller than you. For Park Tudor, of course, Coleman at 6'7". Shelsky sinks the first. You have Bostic at 6'5". Keelan Smith at 6'4". And Ruffin, who's also at 6-3. Petty on the drive, gets a nice friendly roll. Tonight for Petty, he has eight. Missed shot, and here goes Coleman. Could be trouble. Oh, he Petty gets was it. trailing with him. Shelsky gets called for the foul. Coleman converts the end one. Jermaine Coleman in this quarter, 11 points, 27 total. His average is what, 32? No, it's not that much. <laughs> oh, okay. It's well, he's probably, had a career tonight. That's probably a lot. Now grown to 28. He's got 12 in this quarter. He does. No, I stand corrected. He has 10. Okay, in this that, that's what I had. Okay. Tough drive by Loose, and there just hasn't been anything to come by when going in the lane. Coleman's three. He's just not afraid to put it up, even with a hand in his face. Keelan Smith, offensive rebound. 11 points for the freshman. Keelan Smith off the bench. And the game has just gotten out of hand. Shelsky, very deep, but very good. It is Trey Shelsky. Triple number two tonight. Nineteen points for Trey Shelsky. A drive, a dump down. Coleman adds two more and give the assist to Drew to France. 29. Hold on, let me do some math. Yep, yep, 29. Pretty impressive night. Like a Jarrett Lewis night at Eastern <laughs> Hancock. <laughs> no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. No, I have 28. I have a, I had a moment to do some math, but I have 28 for Coleman. Okay. Dowd got fouled. His first free throw is in and good. A couple of first timers will come in. Tidwell checks into the ball game, and Sutton Ramsey is also in for Park Heritage. How about the pink shoes? How about all the shoes? We got a we got an array of. Yeah, I just color. want 10% of all the cost of those shoes. 
That's what we need. We need a shoe company to sponsor us. If you're a Nike guy or a Adidas guy, contact us. A coach at Indiana SRN. <laughs> New guys out there for Park Tudor include Hayden Souza. KJ Marcus checked back in along with the France and then. Drew Miller has checked in the ball game. Nice pass. Aiden Souza quickly in and quickly making an impact. No good threes for loose. Fight for the loose ball, and it's traveling, traveling violation called on Ramsey. 14, Another substitution for Coach Adams. He'll bring in Austin Willis to finish out the duration of this game. This will move them to three and one on the year. You kind of said it in the first quarter. Park Tudor, in essence, do it was dominating yeah. the game, and now, now we're, we're seeing that come to fruition. Yeah, but if you're a Park Heritage fan, hang loose with this team. They're going to be okay. Deep three off the I mark. Mean, I mean, this Park Miller. Tudor team is ranked in the state of Indiana in 2A. Three rattles home for Loose. He's had a good game. He's knocked down three of them. Jonathan Harris has also come in for the Panthers. Just about everybody, actually, in fact, everybody has scored. Come into the game for Park Whoa. Tudor. Oh, that's a deep three. For Jonathan Harris, and the fans love seeing that one. I think he loved it. The coaching staff did. That puts up a 70-burger tonight for Park Tudor, and they're not done yet. Turnover. Looking for some points. Drive. Bucket is good. I think everybody's in the game. Shane Craig. Sean Craig. Reaching foul called on Harris. And this has become a 30-point game. We'll and it wasn't like that. I mean, this separation, first quarter was 10-4. Separation a little bit. Uh, Partudo got off to a very quick start. Uh, first two possessions of the third quarter, Park Heritage made some great plays to come back within nine, and then they just turned on the gas. Loose adds to his total, three of four from the free throw line tonight. It was a 13-point lead at halftime and then a 12-point lead at the end of the third quarter. So 12 has turned into as many as 30 with the lead now looking at 28. Bad pass from Harris. Panthers turn it over. But they will pick up win number three and move to three and one on the season. This game gives Coach Adams his 60th career win at Park Tudor as Tidwell bangs home that three. And the final seconds will trickle down Park Tudor with an astounding victory, defending home court 72 to 47 the final. Park Let's give both teams a round of applause for Real quick, the final the scoring for Park here. Heritage, 19 for Shelsky, really the 13 half. for Luce. Those two guys in play. double figures. But Happy our player of the game on the other side for Park Tudor, 28 year. points for that man, Jermaine Coleman, including... A 12-point fourth quarter. He had 16 points at the end of three. And he is our player of the game. And our matchup with Park Tudor and Park Heritage. Real quick, going to grab Tim Adams. Don't forget, if you like what you see, please let us know. Email us at coach at Indiana SRN if you'd like to help put more student athletes on the TV. Contact us at coach at Indiana SRN. Well, win number 60, not too bad. No, we, we um, you know, we stressed all week just 
playing together. This, this team has so much talent, and when we learn, when we learn to trust each other and share the ball, and, and we're, we're really hard to beat. And I thought that we came out tonight, got off to a good start for a change, Keith, and, and kept, kept our foot on the gas the rest of the night. You know, it helped that I came to shooting practice. Uh, Coleman, you know, he's got his stroke down. Hey, whatever it takes. If you want to keep doing that, we'd appreciate it. Oh, uh, I'm just kidding. Talk a little bit about your team, 3-1 and one now. you got a long time till Tuesday with Shortridge, a very good, improved Shortridge ball club. No doubt, no doubt. I mean, there, are no, uh, there are no cupcakes on this schedule. We know that. And as long as we are taking care of ourselves and working on our ind- individual and team improvement, I like our chances. And so – we're going to come in the gym tomorrow and get better, watch film where we need to find places to, to improve and, and get ready for Tuesday. Coach, D- D- Doc stopped by and did our halftime guest. Great class people. Uh, people really like what we're doing. If people want to help us, they can contact us. But we want to appreciate uh, the hospitality tonight and w- what you always do for us. No, Keith, we really appreciate it. We love having you guys. Any any sort of publicity for, for Park Tudor and our program, we really appreciate it. You guys do a great job, and, and it's fun to have you guys here. I didn't see Dad tonight. I'm sure Dad was watching. I'm not sure where he is. He's going to hear from me on that, but he better have a good excuse. Uh, or well, or he, maybe it's good luck that he wasn't here. He wanted to watch Coach Myers in action. There you go. There you go. Coach, thanks. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate it. Have a good one. We'll wrap things up. Jared put, puts the headset on. Okay, so we had Coach in an interview. We had the young lad on the interview. You can wrap this up. I'm going home. You can go home. You deserve it. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for spending spending time with us and not staying down in the sunshine state well that'll wrap things up for sure like the coach said a very impressive home court win for part tutor 72 to 47 want to thank our entire staff so long for now a couple basketball games for you tomorrow on indiana srn so make sure you follow us on twitter for all of our updates on that indiana srn we're always in the game